Hey, this is Greg with Digital Trends. We were just walking through the Intel booth and we saw this amazing glass display. I'm not sure everything that's going on here. We're here with Don. Maybe you can explain some more about uh, what this is. Sure, basically uh, what we have here is a real-time 3D engine that's driving a touch screen, but the touch screen's transparent, so it's as if you're looking through the glass, but you're seeing an image in between. It's a little bit minority report, I suppose you'd say. Oh, yeah. The reason we developed this with Intel was to demonstrate the power of the new core i7 processor. Um, the i7, you'll see basically here, we're rendering almost a million polygons in real time, 3D. We're rendering uh, the, the rate on screen here is around 400 frames per second, so that's pretty remarkable performance from a single processor. Uh, it also, we're telling the message here of, you know, one level of the core i7, you can go to different kinds of environments, you can go into a video editing environment, you can go into a single player gaming kind of environment, and each one of these it's giving you messages, and you can also, once you arrive in each one of these environments, you can explore, move around, you can discover the uneaten hamburger and the baseball bat and all the interesting things that a gamer might have. We also have similar displays built around the Intel Centrino 2 uh, processor here. Really focusing on it in environments like business environments. Uh, you can, you know, again, you can rotate, you can move with these in your in your home. How you might use it in a park. How you might use it on a train. And again, the new Atom processor from Intel, which is really all about different places you can go out in the world, places you can be surrounded by things. So here it's about you know being out with your being out with your family or being in a club, you know, going to a nightclub. How teens might use this. How you might use this on a you know out in the go in the world to pick up information from a restaurant or, and it, these are all super mobility devices, really streaming machines. Really great technology from Intel and a lot of fun and how you can interact with it. Uh, what kind of technology is actually going into this display? Like, is it, it, what, what are you using for this? Right, the, the sensing is a capacity uh, technology similar to things you might find in, in common phones today, such as an iPhone. Okay. Uh, there's some, some really proprietary projection work here that uses laser etched holograms. Wow. Uh, so it, it allows us to create a very bright image that you can't really see what the source is, but it still holds up in this kind of a very active uh, you know, convention environment. Uh, any idea on when something like this may make it out into the marketplace? I don't know. That's a good question. You know, we've put together this unique solution. My company's Foghorn. We've put together this unique solution for the Intel working with their really terrific people. And, uh, you know, if we don't create products, we create solutions. Maybe somebody will see this and want to make a product. So, All right. Well, fantastic. Thank you very much, Don. You know, more really cool cutting-edge stuff here at uh, CES 2009.